What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we are covering more reactions from a movie premiere or uh, you know a movie that's been released pretty recently and that's Kung Fu Panda 4 and let me just start by saying I'm a huge fan of this franchise. Um, I've seen all three films, love all of them to death. I think they're one of DreamWorks kind of peaks you know they had that like hot, How to Train Your Dragon era and this was kind of like in the midst of all of that and that's when they were really hitting it and while i do like the how to train your dragon trilogy more i will say kung fu panda had like this humor to it that was so well done and uh, the fight choreography and the villains were always amazing so uh, i was curious to see how kung fu panda 4 would be i didn't know they would try to continue this franchise or how this installment would be and then like leading up to the release of this film it was like rumored or you know reported that the budget was like 80 million while the other ones the previous ones were like all like 150 and obviously the furious five not being there and all that stuff i was very curious to see how this would end up and uh, that's what we're gonna see pretty much but uh, before we get into this you guys know what to do hit that like button hit that subscribe button and click that bell that we're notified every time we upload uh we do these a lot covering any type of like big movie and pop culture movies and um yeah the reactions or the reception or you know anyone coming out of those premieres or early screenings we'd like to cover them that way you know we can see you know how to uh, set our expectations or if the hype was really worth it or all that type of stuff but without further ado guys we're gonna go ahead and get straight into these reactions the first one comes from michael lee saying kung fu panda 4 is a fun epilogue following a great trilogy the story is a bit contrived but the jack black and aquafina chemistry is so hilarious and adorable that it overshadows those flaws plus the dynamic action sequences make the animation explode off the screen love to hear that we do know like it's cheaper but i have heard the director and creators or people behind it say that they took like a lot of inspiration and creativity with the way they were doing some of the action sequences in here which has me pretty hyped and, and i'm looking forward to it the next one we got comes from jeffrey harris saying kung fu panda 4 was a lot of fun jack black delivers with his performance as poe a cool new villain and threat with chameleon voiced by viola davis black also gets to sing a classic pop song which was also ian mcshane returns as ty lung now uh i have heard you know a bunch of villains return or at least uh definitely ty lung and i've have heard jack black talk about this uh because viola davis is voicing this villain that can shape shift and all this i'm very excited to see her performance because i love viola davis i think she's a fantastic actress and uh sounds like it's very promising the next one comes from a junior felix saying i had a blast with kung fu panda it's hilarious from start to finish jet black and aquafina have this dropkick chemistry that's so infectious that it makes this installment my favorite so far and that song at the end is fire that's big word saying that it's 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 your favorite so far out of all the installments i don't i can't for sure you know say whether or not you know that's a consensus that a lot of people will have but i will say have not seen many people say that that's high praise and that's very good to hear the next one comes from sean saying after nearly a decade kung fu panda 4 delivers big time jack black's return as poe brought back the franchise's magic and the addition of aquafina as zen was a stroke of genius it's such a fun and entertaining film for the ages you love to hear it next one we have comes from the hashtag show uh good people over there they say kung fu panda 4 delivers pure joy jack black shines as always and aquafina adds a fresh spark their chemistry is electric and viola davis nails it as the villain don't miss this epic adventure joe the hammer here says kung fu panda 4 needed to be maybe 10 minutes longer to achieve peak awesomeness when not hurling its best ideas at high speed there's still a fun display of world building and character development proof this franchise still has life still a ways to go before it can return to old glories now that's one already that we've heard a bit more mixed on where they are still positive but obviously it's 
they probably don't think it's the best in the franchise this next one comes from tessa smith over at mama's geeky she does great content over on her youtube channel you guys should check her out but she says kung fu panda 4 is a ton of fun jack black is as hilarious and lovable as ever aquafina is a wonderful addition and the two of them together are fantastic stunning animation incredible action sequences plus a worthy story that sets up for more kevin phoenix says kung fu panda 4 is fun and surprisingly profound the world greatly expands beyond the valley of peace to a grand scale viola davis is wonderfully delicious and menacing as the film's villain the action sequences are among the best of this series now that's pretty good praise especially for the action sequences because there have been some really creative sequences and uh you know fight scenes in the franchise from the first to the third like there are some some really creative things that they do with the choreography and just how and where the fights go down so that's really really promising to hear Tony Masello says that Kung Fu Panda 4 feels very much like a bridge to the next trilogy in the franchise. Jack Black is great as always and the addition of Aquafina and Viola Davis absolutely works. However, it's missing the spark that makes the others so entertaining, but the kids will still enjoy it. Now, I mean, that's good and not the best to hear. I mean, it, you know, obviously it's great that, you know, they know that the kids will enjoy it considering that's what these films were are made for and that's what they were made for for us but um you know hearing that it's missing that that oomph that spark isn't the best to hear i just really want a good kung fu panda movie doesn't have to be the greatest of all time especially since like the furious five aren't even gonna be in here it sets expectations lower not in a bad way um but yeah it doesn't sound bad at all it seems like everyone for the most part really enjoys it uh we have jeremy here saying i loved kung fu panda 4 we get introduced to new characters new action sequences and a crazy new villain of course there's plenty of comedy throughout the movie definitely a fan film and something DreamWorks should be proud of nice to see familiar faces as well that might be a nod to the furious five uh, I don't think this is a spoiler but they'll probably be in like a flashback or something that's what I'm guessing but uh, I want to hone in on on him saying that it's something DreamWorks should be proud of because uh, we all know they just dropped that second Megamind movie which apparently is an abomination so uh, yeah they need to bounce back real bad uh, i'm gonna end this off we're gonna wrap it up with about like two or three more uh this one comes from zach pope another youtuber you guys should check out does great content on movies and tv and stuff like that but he says the Kung Fu Panda 4 was just more awesomeness into DreamWorks best animated franchise. A nice little chapter that may not get everything right, but features some of the finest animation from the studio and the best action scenes yet. Another praise for the action scenes, but they also say that, you know, it's not in, it's not the best at everything. And uh, the praise for this being their best animated franchise, that's that's you know that could be argued you know to me uh, still uh, uh how to train your dragon boy at heart but it uh, seems like he really enjoyed it the next one comes from uh the man over at geekly goods leo uh go ahead and check his channel out he does great content as well he says skadoosh kung fu panda 4 was a load of fun a sweet dynamic duo between jack black and aquafina with electric animated fight sequences enjoyed the return of former villains especially tai lung it also delivers a nice message about change i miss the furious five though man i mean if i could echo that even more and that's gonna be it for like all the reactions we got if you're gonna go check out this movie tell me your thoughts your expectations anything on the franchise as a whole and if you've already seen it maybe even give me your thoughts below without spoiling of course but uh yeah guys those are the reactions coming out from the premiere and early screenings for kung fu panda 4 you guys let me know your thoughts on uh you know these reactions how you're feeling about it and if you've made it this far hit that like button hit that subscribe button and click that bell all three for free and it helps out the channel a ton but other than that guys it's been your boy keezy and hopefully i will see you guys in the next one